great seeing you here in this new video offered to you by the Custer Academy. My name is Luke de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy. And in this video, I will talk about another planning subject, which I call as late as possible planning. Now, what does it mean? We're going to see what the effects are of as late as possible planning compared to the classical planning that we have been uh, considering in uh, the critical path method and in the videos we've seen before. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look at the classical project planning. Now, when we have a classical project planning, we have the critical path method, and we plan the activities as soon as possible, or it means we're planning the activities in their early start times. That's the first thing that we're going to do. The early start planning makes that all the activities are planned as close as possible to the start of the project. So whenever they can start, we will let them start. Now, all the activities have been moved forward. Now, it can also be in this case that we may have the same resource allocated to different activities at the same time. And these activities then are being completed in parallel. So the resource is doing multitasking. We've spoken about multitasking. It's not always the best way uh, to deal with the resources and with the work. Now, what happens here is that when we look at every time schedule of the project, we see that a lot of activities are planned at the same time. And it's what we call also work in progress in operations management. Remember when we looked at Kanban, we were looking at limiting the number of activities that people are working on to the availability. So we're reducing the work in progress. Here we have a lot of work in progress, a lot of things happening at the same time. We have some other things that I didn't put here on the uh, slide, but when we put everything at the beginning, we may have a lot of slack. And when some activity is finished, it has to wait for a long time because it before it can be integrated. And that's not very good if we have those elements. We have a lot of uh, problems with flexibility because if we want to change the work, work has already been finished. On the other hand, when we put all the activities in the beginning, we have to spend the money at the beginning of the project. And this has an effect on the cash flow. But let's have a look at what we call as late as possible planning. Now, we move the activities as late as possible without exceeding the end date of the project. So that's one of the elements. We cannot uh, extend the duration of the project, but we move them as far as we can do without changing the duration. What are the advantages? First of all, we have a reduction of the work in progress because the activities are being executed later. We also have the costs that are moved to a later time, which is providing us a better financial performance. We're using the money. We have a positive effect on our cash flow, but immediately we also have a positive effect on the payback time, the net present value, and the internal rate of return, and eventually other parameters that you're using for financial evaluation. Later in the project, the team is also more experienced, which means that due to the smoothness of work, that we expect less errors and rework. So the work is done faster and it will help us to get a better overall performance. Now, there are also some disadvantages or there is mainly one big disadvantage. The farther we may we move the activities to a later date, it reduces the slack. And in the worst case, all the activities to, would be on the critical path. It means that we have any slight delay on any of the activities. We will have a problem. The project will take longer. So when we look at it moving as late as possible, we should still have some flexibility there to take into account some unexpected events that may happen. But basically, the as late as possible planning is a very good way to have a better uh, performance of your project. People are better. We have, uh, let's say, less 
uh, activities which are in parallel, all these things like that. And instead of doing it the classical way with the resources allocation and so, we start from here and we find a better way to get all the activities done in time to finish the project on time. So that was it for as late as possible planning. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you very much and bye-bye.